In this video, we will be discussing some problems related to NCRT exemplar for chapter 1 which is real number for class 10. So, we will be discussing some specific questions of the exercise which is unsolved, which are unsolved questions. So, the very first question we will be taking is exercise 1.3 question 4. So, we will be discussing few questions on this chapter only that will be on the, based on the exercise 1.1, 2, 3 and 4. So, we will be starting off with the very first question which is question 4 of exercise 1.3. Now, question says that show that the square of any positive integer cannot be of the form 6m plus 2 or 6m plus 5 for any integer m. So, you will be getting some seconds. Try and solve it out and if you are ready, you can come up and Find the solution in this video. I will give you a few seconds. Try if you can and come up with the answer. Now before starting up with our solution, please share, like and subscribe our videos. And now we will be starting our solution of this question. Now the question is we need to show that the square of any positive integer cannot be of the form 6m plus 2 or 6m plus 5 for any integer m. Now we know that by Euclid's algorithm we have a equals to 6q plus r where 0 will be equals to less than equals to r is less than 6 which means r will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That will not be 6 because it is less than 6. So, we will be getting r equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we are looking for the square of it. So, since a equals to 6q plus r, a square will be 6q plus r whole square. So, we will be squaring both the sides. So, we will be getting a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square which will be 36q square plus 12qr plus r square or we can take 6 common and we are left with 6q square plus 2qr plus r square. Now, we have a square as 6 times 6q square plus 2qr plus r square. Now, we will try and solve by putting r as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and let's see what do we get. Now, when we will put r as 0, what do we get? A square is equal to 6, 6q square plus 2q times 0 plus 0 squared. So, ultimately we will be getting 6 times 6q square which will be 6m where m equals to 6q square that means m can be an integer of the form 6q square. Now, let us move on to r when r is 1. So, we will be getting a square equals to we will put the value of r as 1. So, what do we get? 6 times 6q square plus 2q times 1 plus 1 square. That means we will be getting 6 times 6q square plus 2q plus 1. We can write it as a form of 6m plus 1 where m can be any integer 6q square plus 2q. Let us move on to and try and put the value of 2. By putting the value of 2, we will be getting a square as 6 times 6q square plus 4q plus 2 squared which is 4. Now, we can write it in the form 6m plus 4 where m is an integer like 6q square plus 4q. What if we have r as 3? Now, if r as 3, we will be getting 6 times 6q square plus 2 times q times 3 which will be 6q plus 3 square which will be 9. And we can write it at the form of 6. We are having 6q square plus 6q and we can write it down 6 plus 3. 
So we are actually breaking that 9 to 6 plus 3. Why 6 plus 3? Because we can take 6 common out of these two terms now. So we'll be taking 6 common and we will be getting 6q square plus 6q plus 1 plus 3 which is actually of the form 6m plus 3 where m is an integer or a perfect square which is let me just write it down over here. So we are getting 6m plus 3 where m is equal to which is a perfect square 6q square plus 6q plus 1. Now what if we put r as 4 and 5? Now when we put r as 4, we will be getting a squared as 6 times 6q squared plus 2 times q times 4 which will be 8q plus 4 squared will be 16. So we can write it in the form 6 times 6q squared plus 8q plus 12 plus 4. So when we solve it out of these two, we will take common which means we will be getting 6 times 6q squared plus 8q plus 2 plus 4. Now we can check that out. Is 6q squared plus 8q plus 2 will be a perfect square or not? Or we can straight away write as 6m plus 4 where m is an integer and it is 6q squared plus 8q plus 2. Now what if we have r as 5? So we will try to make some space over here. What if r equals to 5? Then we will be getting a squared as 6 times 6q squared plus 2 times q times 5 which is 10q plus 5 squared which is 25. So we can write it down as a squared equals to 6 times 6q squared plus 10q. Plus, we can write it down 24 plus 1. So, we will be ultimately getting 6 times 6q square plus 10q plus 4 plus 1 which is of the form 6m plus 1. Where m, we know it is 6q square plus 10q plus 4. Now, if you will see what all the forms which we are getting. When r is 0, we are getting 6q squared or 6m. If we will talk about in the forms of m because we are looking for these two that is these can be the form or not. So, 6 first is r is 0, 6m. Then we have 6m plus 1, 6m plus 4. Then we have 6m plus 3. Then again we have 6m plus 4 and 6m plus 1. So ultimately, we could not find 6m plus 2 or 6m plus 5. Why? Because we got 6m, we got 6m plus 1, we got 6m plus 4 and we got 6m plus 3 as well. So we got 6m, 6m plus 1, 6m plus 3, 6m plus 4. So we are left with only 6m plus 2 and 6m plus 5. So we can conclude that hence the square of any positive integer cannot be of the form 6m plus 2 or 6m plus 5 for any integer m. So this is Question 4 of exercise 1.3. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you are clear with this uh, question. Thank you so much. We are coming up with more videos with some more questions. Till then, take care.